Okay, so what we've done here is I've added a 10 watt laser from endurancelasers.com, a great guy named George Formachev, um, and he uh, has got a 10 watt laser module that I've added onto my CNC. This is a CNC router parts four by eight foot uh, CNC router with uh, digital electronics package. So. What I've done is added this module to diode laser, so no CO2 tubes or anything like that, nothing bulky. Um, so it mounts on, I've just got it on two L brackets put together, and that allows me to have it in a fixed place. I've actually mounted it right onto the grounding bolt of the spindle. Now, the spindle, I've got two separate uh, things set up on the computer for Mach 3, so that uh, my spindle will never turn on, turn on in this case. And uh, which is a good thing because we don't want the spindle to turn on when I'm trying to use the laser. Uh, also, the vacuum is not connected to the electronics. It's turned on manually when I want it on. Uh, so I don't have to worry about um, uh, any static from the vacuum. Um, so the laser module is there, 10 watt, goes to the control board also provided by Endurance Lasers. Um, and we've got two connectors. So this connector here goes to the laser module that you just saw. This connector here goes all the way along, all the way along, down my, down my strip here, uh, down my uh, cable, cable chain, into that cable chain, down that cable chain, all the way back to my computer system, which is under here, and into that box. I just drilled a hole in and uh, made sure there wasn't any um, metal, um, sharp metal pieces to that could eventually get rid of the um, coating on the thing. So what I've got here is I've got a breakout board. It's connected via a ribbon cable to port three. So this is for a CNC router parts um, setup, and it will go into port three on the uh, elect, uh, the Ethernet smooth stepper which then connects to the breakout box, just a typical uh, printer PV25 port. And then those two cables that you just saw are connected to ports 17 and 18 is what I chose. You can choose pretty much whatever you want. Um, you just have to make sure you remember them for your setup in Mach 3. So uh, outside of all of that, the only other thing I had to do was just run power cords. So this is a power cord to power the laser driver and the, and the diode laser. And then there's one smaller power supply that powers all the fans to keep the laser cool. Um, and that's all just put in here. Uh, it plugs into a power cable down here. That power cable is controlled by that same electronics box that you just saw. Um, there are two relays on that and I'm using uh, one relay to turn the uh, um, the extension cord on for both of those to power both of those from the same extension cord. I use a separate relay that powers my spindle and in my setup in Mach 3 what I've done is just disabled the spindle control for that entire setup. The nice thing about this is I bolted it on with wing nuts so when I'm going to CNC I'll just undo the wing nuts, take all of this off, unplug everything, uh, put it somewhere safe so that the dust doesn't get inside the diode. Um, so you really don't want to clog your diode up with, uh, with any uh, sawdust or shavings. Anyway, that's the setup. Uh, it took me a little while to figure it out. It wasn't all that hard really, um, but uh, just had to back and forth a little bit with the, uh, the manufacturer of the, uh, which is George uh, Formachev of Endurance Lasers. And also a little bit uh, of, uh, a little bit of discussion with Aaron at CNC and Carrie at, at CNC Router Parts, um, who are amazing. Uh, anybody who wants to buy a CNC or, or learn anything about a CNC, uh, CNC router parts, even after you buy, they will return your calls, emails, etc. quickly. Their support is unbelievable. Uh, so anyway, and, and of course the product is unbelievable as well. So I've been very, very happy with this. So anyway, that's so far the setup. And as you can see, we burned a bit. I'm just testing the focus point because um, you can change the focal point by going up and down with the Z. Or there's also a little, little uh, adjuster down on the diode down here that you can use. I haven't used that yet, but uh, I'm just gonna try and tune it a little bit, and then we'll do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of burning.